Hi again and welcome this time to the distributive property of multiplication. Okay, what do we mean by the distributive property of multiplication? Well, distribute is a very common word. I'm sure you know that distribute means that I might have something, let's say inheritance. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's a pile of money that a uh, grandfather has left to his grandchildren and distributing means that it each grandchild is given his portion okay and some are glad and some are sad okay so that is distribution okay now it's my, not much different when it comes to multiplication but the distributive property of multiplication involves brackets We've already learned that brackets means multiplying. Okay, so when I have something in front of a bracket, a factor in front of the bracket, that thing is distributed to every term inside of the bracket. Okay, so let's look at an example. Okay, just a general example. A plus B, okay, are the two terms that we have inside of the bracket and that a times b is being multiplied the whole expression both terms are being multiplied with c so to show that both terms are being multiplied we put them in a bracket and then multiply the whole thing with c okay so the c is distributed to every term inside of here and this now becomes c times a I don't have to write the multiply I'm just writing it for your convenience and then C times B okay so when I have a coefficient to a bracket that coefficient becomes a coefficient for every term inside of the bracket and that's not just true for um, for coefficients that can be true for any number it can be a, a, a variable or a number or anything that comes in front of the bracket you'll see more of that later on but uh, let me do a, a practical example okay let's say I am adding 2 and 3 together then we know the answer is 5 okay now what if I take the sum of 2 and 3 adding them together and I multiply that with let's say 4 in other words 4 times the sum of 2 and 3 now we know the sum of 2 and 3 is 5 so 4 times 5 would give me 20 okay so let's just illustrate the distributive property would I get the same answer if I say I have 4 twos plus four threes that's a distributive property do you see just like I've got CA's and CB's here okay and it indeed does give me the same answer let's see four times two is eight plus four times three is twelve that gives me twenty so you can see we did the same simplifying uh, or we got the same answer simplifying this expression in two different ways in one way we simplified the inside of the bracket by saying 2 plus five, uh, 3 is 5 and then only multiplying with the 4 in the other way we distributed the 4 to every term inside and then we got our 20 okay let's look at a little bit more complicated example where we use variables how about x plus y multiplied with x y this time I don't just have one factor in front I've got two factors okay but we'll use whatever is in front here and distribute it to every term inside the bracket now why do I say we have terms inside the bracket because we are adding there's two terms in here an X term and a Y term so when I distribute I now have X Y X plus X Y Y and this time I can simplify this again by saying this is X there's two factors so I'll give X a 2 as an exponent and a Y plus this one gives me an X and a Y squared now just so that you again see we can't simplify this any further 